We turn our attention now to news from the courts where Long Island Member of Parliament Adrian Gibson's on the losing end of the first fight in his high-profile corruption case. This as the motion for a judge to recuse herself from the trial was today denied in the Supreme Court. Two days ago, making his case to the court, Gibson's attorney, Muriel DeSeal, took issue with the optics of having his client sit in the prisoner's dock and Supreme Court Justice Cheryl Grant Thompson's history, which he claimed might be cause for perceived bias. The, his the history in question, Judge Grant Thompson's previous marriage to former PLP cabinet minister, Peter Bethel, who died back in 2000 claiming that because Gibson is a member of the opposing free national movement, there could be questions of impartiality. Well, to this, Grant Thompson in her decision explained that judges are guided by an oath and are sworn to act honestly, independently, and with integrity. Answering to questions about her relationship with the deceased some 20 years ago, the justice added that she has since remarried and that counsel for Mr. Gibson, who would have been 18 at this time, have not provided any suggestion of any animus contact between the dependent and the deceased. In the end, the justice came to the conclusion that a fair-minded and fair observer, being aware of the judicial oath, would not suspect bias. Also making note that the fate of trial lies not in the judge's hands, but of the jury's. A case management hearing is scheduled for November 7th at 1 p.m. Meantime, trial is set to begin on May 1st of 2023. Nobody can talk about your business or special event like you can. Do you want a way to bring your message to a large audience? You need a live ZNS radio interview. Five minutes of airtime to let listeners know directly from you all about your company, product, or upcoming event. And now for a limited time only, get five interviews for 25% off or 10 interviews for 35% off. Call the ZNS sales office today, 502 3800 and get on the radio.